Howdy doody everybody, my name is Kev Gooey and welcome to Mob Love Alternative. Playtime's over, time for despair. Experience the definitive version of a masterpiece in the Mob Love Trilogy's thrilling conclusion. No, therapy not included. Oh, interesting. Oh, I'm excited. I remember playing Mob Love Unlimited and now Alternative is here. Ooh. All right, let's play this, guys. Start. Uh, English, please? Wait, what? In-game, independent of your preferred text. Oh, English. Thousand six age products. August 9, 1999, Yokohama Hive F Lair. Command post, this is Bravo Leader. Currently at 4,000 feet below ground level. We've arrived at the innermost chamber, commencing reconnaissance of the assigned sector. Oh, it's not Japanese? Bravo Leader, this is Command Post. We can't get a visual from you. Nothing but static on our end. The relay cables must have been damaged. Should we lose contact, your top priority is to bring back the data. Understood? Bravo leader. Copy that. Ooh. This is huge. Damn, look at the ground. It's glowing. Bravo leader to command post. No sign of beta activity on the sensors. Bravo leader, this is command post. Be sure to record any signs of structural damage that may have been caused by the G-bomb. Bravo leader, copy that. Great. And how the hell am I supposed to know what that looks like? I'm a soldier, not a scientist. Shit. I don't even know what the place looked like before it got bombed. The recorders are rolling, LT. Good. All right, people. Move out. Bravo leader, this is command post. Delta Squadron has encountered hostile and are currently engaging. Be on the lookout for more stragglers. Bravo leader, copy that. All units, keep your eyes peeled. LT! What is it? What... what the hell is that? Bravo leader, this is command post. Report your status. This is Bravo leader, wait. Stand by. There's something in the middle of the hall. What is that? A pillar? This is Bravo Leader. There's some kind of a narrow column stretching from the ceiling to the floor, with a transparent section in the middle. LT, look! It's not just one. There's a whole shitload of them. This is Bravo Leader, attempting to identify unknown object at maximum range. Command post to Bravo Leader. Give me a situation report. We're seeing signs of extreme stress on your vital readouts. Uh, oh, God. Command post to Bravo Leader. Report your status. I say again. Report your status. Fuck. What the hell is this? Bravo Leader, do you read me? What's going on? Report the situation. What is that? Oh god. They're human. Human what? Please say again. Bravo leader, this is command post. Have you found survivors? Bravo leader, come in! They're human... brains. What? Human brains? I have no idea what's going on. I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure I made this uh, Japanese language or speaking or, or this is uh, actually supposed to be English. Is that very composer? That, that's all. Bell by copyright age. Or I don't know how to pronounce that with the triangle or, or uh, that greater than above. 
Us, Dan? Episode 1, The Light of Other Days. <gasps> Takeru! Oh my gosh, I missed him! Wait. I don't remember sleeping under the air conditioning that could land on my face any time. Where am I? <gasps> Is this my room? I remember this room. It's my room. There's no doubt about it. This is definitely my room. Uh-huh. Why am I crying? What's gotten into me? Crap, where's a tissue when you need one? Ah, uh, I don't know why, but... It almost feels like I just woke up from some crazy dream. Yeah, I remember now. It was totally nuts. I enlisted in the military. They let me pilot a TSF. But in the end, they left us all behind on Earth to die. Um... Ah, huh, interesting. I couldn't do a single thing to stop it. Talk about pathetic. What kind of loser can't even save the world in his own dream? What kind of a twisted psycho am I? Anyway, I still can't believe my brain came up with something as vile as the beta. Beta? What's that? Those things scared the hell out of me. I remember fainting at the mere thought of encountering them. And then there was that time I almost got myself killed on that tropical island. How did I get out of that one again? Heh <laughs> Well, it was just a dream. Obviously, I'm going to be hazy on some of the details. Heh. <laughs> it sure was something, though. Class rep and Maya and everyone else was there. And Makoto was a girl, dude. A girl. Wh which one is it? Is it a girl or a dude? Because he is definitely a dude. I mean, I thought... Yeah. I think he was always a, a dude. <gasps> where's... Oh no, where's... Oh no, where is she? Hugo Sensei was there and Marimo-chan. Not to mention Tsukuyomi-san and the three idiots. Oh, I remember them. Hmm. Oh right, Sumika was... But Sumika wasn't there, was she? Yeah, Sumika wasn't there. But like in the initial pictures. Who are you? Kasumi and Mrs. Kyozuka were, though. Wait, huh? Hold on a second. Aren't dreams supposed to be like a slideshow of jumbled up memories or whatever? That doesn't make sense. I don't know anybody like those two. Do I? And now I know all this stuff about the military and firearms and whatnot. It all feels really vivid. I sure it was a dream. Is all that stuff really just a product of my imagination? 8 o'clock, huh? You can read that? It uh, looks like a freaking like, mirror. Time to get ready for training. Er, uh, school I mean. Not training, duh. I don't get it. Something still feels off about this. For one thing, I'm gonna be late if I don't get going soon, but nobody's come to hassle me yet. For some reason, the thought of being late to school just doesn't bother me that much. It almost feels like it doesn't even apply to me. Oh, Sumika used to used to come and like wake us up every time. Where is Sumika? I'm trying to convince myself that I should be worried, but it's not really working that well. Man, what's wrong with me today? Is all that really just a dream? Well, all I have to do is go outside, right? Then I'll know for sure. We got a sneaking suspicion. My gut's telling me it was all real. In fact, I'd actually be more surprised if it was just a dream. Hmm. Huh. Everything's in ruins. My house is barely standing. So then... It wasn't a dream. Uh, all that actually happened. Am I missing something here? Look at all this destruction. 
This is all the confirmation I need. How can it not be a dream? That doesn't make any sense. If it wasn't a dream, how do you explain this? What the hell am I doing back in my house? Did this mean I've looped back to the day I first got here? Or wait, maybe it's not a time travel thing at all. What if it was all just a vision of things yet to come? What the hell, man? I don't understand any of this shit. What the hell's happening to me? God damn it, why is this happening again? I'm back to square one, and I've got no idea what's real and what's not. Yeah, I, I'm, I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. Ugh. Only thing I know is that I miss Sumika. Miss Sumika, where is she? No, this is real. It's absolutely real. Or rather, it doesn't matter whether it's a dream or not. I'm here in mind and body and I'm making conscious decisions. So right now, this is my reality. There's no way out. This is a... Gekishin, right? Yep, no doubt about it. Everything's exactly the same as it was last time. The only difference this time is that I'm already acquainted with all this stuff. I'm pretty sure. I was super stoked about this guy the first time I saw him. I didn't even question the situation. I just jumped to the conclusion that I was dreaming and figured there was no rhyme or reason to any of it. Right. Then I went in to try and get a closer look. Whoa, that was close. Actually, I feel like... I kind of sort of remember almost hurting myself like that too, though my memory's a little fuzzy. I still have no idea what is going on. My room's still the same. At any rate, where is it now? 8.15. Yes, the next logical order of business would be to haul ass up the hill and see if Yokohama base is still there, huh? Or should I do what I did last time? Pretty sure I just wandered aimlessly around town till a little after 11. I still can't say for sure whether or not I actually went back in time, but assuming I did, who knows what might happen if I did things differently. Either way, pacing around my room is not going to accomplish anything. But if I'm going out, I should probably change into my uniform first. Until I can figure out how much things have changed around here, I should probably do everything the same as last time. W what is the same as last time? I'm missing something, aren't I? Am I just dreaming, or did I really go back in time? With any luck, I'll be back to finding the answer there. Pretty much all of the Hiragi district is in ruins. Everything from the station to the shopping district is in shambles. There's a caved-in overpass too, just like I remember. So far, I'd say the most plausible explanations would be that I've either gone back in time, or that the first go-around was just some sort of weird prophetic dream. I don't know. At the very least, I think it's safe to say it wasn't all just a figment of my imagination. But either way, if it's an accurate representation of events yet to come, then I've got two years before the shit hits the fan. That's when they'll enact Alternative at V. 5. Fan in the Earth. Everyone left behind will be annihilated. Or, wait, were we? I do remember seeing the last shuttle off to safety, and I'm pretty sure we launched a worldwide counteroffensive after that. Yeah, in fact, my squad was among the ones that got deployed in it. Wait. My squad? It was just everyone from Squad 207, wasn't it? Huh? What happened after that? I don't know. All the details are really fuzzy. But... What I can say for sure, that at this very moment, they're building a migrant fleet at the nearest leg range point. There's no doubt that Alternative 5 is ready in the works. Can't let that happen again. I've got to stop it no matter what. And in order to do that, I have to do everything I can to help Yugo Sensei bring Alternative 4 to fruition. That's the only course of action I've got right now. It's not negotiable. Although, to be fair, I don't even have any solid proof that I'm even right about any of this. But I guess I'll find out soon enough. We'll just have to see if what happens next syncs up with what I remember or not. Once I get to the base, uh, the school, I mean, it should all be made clear. Yeah, no. After all this time, this just doesn't feel like a leisurely walk to school anymore. These cherry blossom trees line the road all the way up to the gates of the surface pilot training academy. The countless soldiers who fought to retake the mainland now laid to rest beneath them. Could they have been the ones who called me back here? After all, banning the Earth would basically be saying all their sacrifices were in vain. 
Maybe if we could get all 1 billion people out safely, it'd be a different story. But a hundred and some odd thousand just doesn't cut it. Anyway, let's go find out what's at the top of the hill. Will it be Yokohama base or Hakuryo prep? Oh crap! Dang, I totally left my game guy back at home. Did I go back for it? Nah, let's just leave it. I mean, we're going to, you know, school or whatever. I mean, do we even have it still? I know I said I was going to try and do everything the same way, but I don't see why I needed it this time around. Besides, it shouldn't even exist in this world to begin with. Ha ha ha. Uh, there's that radar. Man, that thing cracked me up so hard last time. United Nations 11th Force Pacific Theater Yokohama Base. This is definitely the place. Damn it. Well, looks like my assumption was right. Not that I hadn't already pretty much figured that out. But at the same time, it's actually a bit of a relief. I was preparing myself for this long before I knew for sure which world I was in. Eh, how stupid would I look if I got myself all psyched up for nothing? Eh. Yep, it's all exactly as I remember, which means humanity's final hour really is close at hand. Oh my god, it's Japanese voicing! Hooray! I, I, I guess it was just all English for the, uh, the one in the beginning. Oh, awesome! Well, I have no idea what's going on, to be honest. I have literally no idea what's going on because I don't know what's going on. All I remember was her choreo school. Unless I'm missing something, then yeah, I'm missing something. But anyways, you guys can check out this game for yourself. The link is down below in the descriptions. And this game actually comes out on September 18th. Ooh, so we have a sneak peeky look right now, guys. And uh, yeah, we're going to find out what's in the school in the next episode of Mob Love Alternative. If you guys enjoyed this episode, then please slime that like button and subscribe down below for more awesome videos. Thank you everybody for watching this episode and you will hear me in the next one. Goodbye!